Mother sentenced to 30 years in prison for allowing teen daughter to marry 47-year-old man. Read on. As reported by 8 News Now, Cherry Payton, 43, was convicted of continuous sexual abuse of a young child after an investigation in 2017 after the girl told her doctor... So what? So who? Told her doctor that she had been having sex with her husband. You see that? So this is the kind of evil that's going on among our people. Right. So a lot of times we read this stuff, right? We may, oh, it's far-fetched that it's happening among black communities. No. And we're going to get a scripture to prove to you that God already told us, don't be doing this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Now you got a young child. How old is she? She was 13, right? Right. 13 being violated, molested. By her mom and the damn grown ass man. Right. Grown enough to be her daddy twice. Read some more. Peyton, the girl's mother, told the doctor that her daughter was married and that marriage was a part of their religious beliefs. Now, I don't know what religious belief that is. God is against that. Right. You got to be a grown woman, a grown man at 20 years old. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. That's a good one. Okay, so the Bible is a, is a masculine book, but when it says fathers, it's also talking about mothers. Read. But bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Nurture and admonition of the Lord. She wasn't nurturing her daughter. She was, she was molesting her. Yep. And, and giving her up to prostitution. To prostitution. Okay, she wasn't nurturing her daughter according to the, to, to the, the laws of God. Read on. That's rape. When rape happens to young daughters, right. they grow up and they hate men. They become lesbians. Yep. They, they go to um, strippers, um, stripper clubs. They start stripping. They become whores. Like they can never trust no man. This happens a lot in our communities because, see, this was another man. But a lot of times it's Uncle Pete. Right. Hey, that's a good point right it's there. The, it's the uncle doing it. And, and the family never say nothing. And that's why you got a lot of our women, they got the stiff necks and the hardened hearts against the men because all this is going on in the family. Right. And they can't trust no men. Hearts against the men because all this is going on in the family. That's what God said. God said you're supposed to train up a child in the way they should go. Right. Not, not train up a child to be married to a grown man. Right. Not, not train up a child to be married to a grown man. Oh, no. be a hoe. Yeah, be a hoe. Exactly. <laughs> Up it. Reports show that detective did not find any marriage records to back up Peyton's claims. Mm. The mother allegedly said the marriage was based on their Hebrew Israelite uh, faith. Uh, yeah. See about the captive silly women. Bring Get it that for me. Because that's exactly what happened. That's what we try to instruct the sisters. Listen, you need a man to guide you. You can't just be out here doing stuff on your own just because you read the scriptures. You know you're Israel. You got no man to guide you. Well, guess what? Somebody's going to guide you. A man will guide you. Would it be a righteous man? Instruct the sisters. Listen, you need a man to guide you. You can't just be out here doing stuff on your own. Instruct the sisters. Listen, you need a man to guide you. You can't just be out here doing stuff on your own. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem. Rucha Ha Kwadash and double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors also to you, brethren, you followers of the truth, and shalom to the elect. Okay, before I go further, this video was sent to me by the screen channel Assidians DMV. That's the uh, other head, the, the head brother of the other Baltimore camp. And um, he uh, shared this video with me with the IUIC. And what took my attention really is the title called Crazy Black Hebrew Israelite Woman. So now we're trying to get this stain of us of this uh, black Hebrew Israelite thing off of our backs, which we know it's all orchestrated, set up, you know. Lord runs everything, but it's up to us to bring out to you and show you, even you that are following these, this group, these guys are all set up, you know, to, um, it, it's kind of helping the elites forward their agenda. You know, there was no reason to say that crazy black Hebrew Israelite woman. So now they're separating themselves and this is why now you can see them now 
posting up at other churches, you know, being controversial. They always for the women, you know, this is what it's all about with these guys. They're not really about truth. They're really about, you know, clout or women. This is what it's all about. This is why he, I believe he said, this is why women, they uh, go off and they become whores and prostitutes. And you know why they become that? Because we're in an unjust society. They become that because you're not supposed to commit these, you know, heinous acts of laying down with a woman, you know, a young woman and running off and sneaking out the room or sneaking out the back door and don't be her husband, right? Or what you're supposed to be. Now, I'll say this first. We don't condone this behavior. We don't condone uh, any, you know, any man at at 40 something years old messing with a 14 year old. I don't see the excitement in that in this society because these young women, you know, their, their mindset isn't of the ancient women, right? That's just pretty much what it is. Is it illegal for uh, a young woman to mess with a 40 year old man? According to the Bible, absolutely not. Every woman uh, uh, timetable is different. That's why the word uh, month means moon. This is why you have a woman's monthly cycle. If she could be 12, she could be 13, 14, 15 even. It's no set time. How did a woman know to become a woman when she's 14, when she's having a, pu- a puberty? Right? Could be 12. If it's any time sooner than that, it's off because it has to, uh, um, it has to grow, you know, it has to, you know, come into herself. You know, you'll have a short spotty period or whatever, or, you know, through all the medicines or whatever else happened, there's some issues going on. But for the most part, even traditionally, if it was much younger than that, you would try to wait till a 12, 12 and a half. And this is the culture that we live in and are the only ones that say otherwise. So it's hard to believe that these guys are standing here in the purple and they're saying that the woman damsel have to be 20 years old when the young woman at a certain age gets hormones. I mean, she gets in the burning and the scripture says that, you know, if she cannot contain herself, let her marry. So what if she's 14 years old? She's not allowed to have a 15, 16 year old young man. And the law says she can. And the law says she can, you know, nobody says anything when a 16 year old young man lay down with a 14 year old woman. So what is the difference? She didn't know because he was 16 then the difference between a man that was 40 wouldn't she know still if she was ready for that or not whether he was younger or older it's still that woman this is why when you go to school they speak of young woman in the 8th grade they call them young woman 7th grade 7th graders everybody knows it anyway let me get some examples let me get some scriptures and uh, go kind of go through this lesson a little bit um, we can go to see this in um, when it talk about Rebecca um, and the damsel was very fair to look upon with Isaac, a virgin. Now, they'll, you know, we're not going to go further than that because they'll say, um, well, let me say, let me see here. A virgin, neither had a man known her because a virgin could be a young woman or a man that not, that didn't have a woman that didn't have sex. And she went down the well and filled the pitcher and came up. Now, this is when you, I believe when you keep reading, I read the story where um, uh, Isaac took Rebecca and Sarah, his mother's tent, right? And he loved her, right? But for some reason, these people has adopted the modern culture. You can even Google it and it'll say 20 years of age. Well, let's go to the... um, um, 
definition of damsel. It says a girl, damsel, female servant, girl, damsel, little girl, which, you know, you could be a young, a younger, a younger girl, but mainly a young woman, marriageable young woman. Now, what, what, what does it mean to be marriageable? Is when her time of puberty, a concubine, prostitute, maid, female, attendant, female servant. So we're going to go to a couple of articles, if I can. Um, we're also going to get an example of things that are a little bit different that Jake won't go into when it comes to the scriptures. Okay, we can go to this article. It says, how different cultures recognize a child's coming of age. Right? It says, the coming of age term is used to describe the transition between childhood and adult. For some cultures, coming of age determined when a child reaches a certain birthday and is no longer considered a minor. 13, 15, 16, 18, and 21, right? Are the common thought of a significant ages for young adults. So right here it says 13, 15, 16, and 18. Many religions and cultures say different. We go here. Um, the coming of age milestones is important. Uh, let me go on down. Coming of age ceremony, bar mitzvah, right, which we know about. Um, at the age of 13, which is actually 12, Jewish teens take part in a important, joyful religious ceremony called the Bar Mitzvah for boys or for girls. The Bar Mitzvah, right? The boys or the girls. So when you're 12 and 13 years old, that's your coming of age. It's crazy that these guys, these Jakes, uh, and all they're doing is following leadership, do not understand that our history is is written but it was different than modern culture so it seems like these guys just want to dabble out of you know the you know the hebrew culture and connect a little with american culture right they say 18 well shit they worse than uh this man's society they saying 20 but meanwhile you get 14 year old young ladies who get pregnant well if it wasn't meant for them to get pregnant they wouldn't be in that mood, so to speak, to want to lay down and get pregnant. It's a natural thing. This is crazy. Uh, anyway, the American 13-year-olds are not literally adults, but the event has, gradu- has great tradition and importance, right? The modern American 13-year-olds, it talks about the Catholic Muslims, while we're in no official ceremony celebration after puberty, here we go, the sweet 16, right? And everybody should have heard that, especially some of you of old school. Uh, many American families celebrate their child's coming of age with a sweet sweet 16 party. Traditionally, this was the mo- mostly for girls, but now it's for boys. So you get the point. So there's no particular set age of, I mean, far as to start off yes but in general it could be 12 13 14 you know whenever it was puberty right let's go to the story of joshua right joshua 15 and um let's go to i think it's 15 and 16 let me just get to the point and caleb said to his to smite if Kerjasifer and taketh it to him will I give Asha my daughter to wife and Othiniel the son of Kenes the brother of Caleb took it and he gave him uh, Asha the daughter to wife so now you will see in this situation it looks as if, if Caleb gave his younger brother right to uh, his younger brother um, his uh, daughter to wife, right? And you know you go in the law, but then you know when you read the commentaries, um, it says that it was possible on the mother's side or whatever. But there's many scriptures, and you can go into the scriptures, and there's many scriptures where kings and men that set up. I just read a few where they kind of kept it in it that that 
bloodline and that lineage, so to speak, even close. So it, it it's, you know, the way these people are teaching the Bible today, you would have to come out of the mindset of that and and just go back to your 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 heritage and your history. Right? They even teach this group even teach that you only supposed to have one wife. But the time when we will be able to get seven wives is when the kingdom well when the um the time happens of Isaiah four and one, seven women shall take hold of one man. These guys teach that no, you're supposed to just be one with one wife, but then when that time comes, then you can have all the wives. So Malachi three and six says, I am the Lord, I change not. The Lord hasn't just decided, you know what? I don't agree with that right now. You ain't got to do it. You know, that the Lord never changed, man. Right? The Lord never changed. We're still making them sacrifices going out on the hedges. Right? It's become spiritual. So I, this is crazy, man. I just wanted to touch on this and show you. Um, let me go. I think I have another source up here. I think I did anyway. Um, this is Woman and the Law of Ancient Israel. I'm going to just get to the point. It is it is possible then that the, the Israelite men did purchase their brides in the earliest days. Now, we read the scripture in Deuteronomy 22, I believe, in 28, where in some cases, a man took a woman. It says even here, take taking a wife. It says, since the expression take a wife was in the scripture, it could very, it could not very well be repudiated. But Jewish leaders made it clear that brides could not be brought and their marriage requires the consent of the woman herself and well as, her fa- as well as a father. Girls t- typically, I don't know why they keep calling the girls if they can marry at this age. Young woman, I don't know why they put girls. But okay, girls, you know, girls are just a young woman. It could be considered, considered a young woman. Even they even got different terms for, for babies, infants, toddlers, young children, you know, which is sons and daughters. Anyway, girls typically married, married at the age of 12 or 13 immediately after puberty. I can't understand why these people can't see this. I know some of you get emotional. Some of you who follow us even get on in, on my channel after doing videos like this. And then you'll say, that's that GMS thing. And then you get all upset about it. We're not teaching to go marry off your daughter. Now, they was right in doing a video in, in this society. You shouldn't be doing that. But you can't sit up there and just say it was against the laws of the Bible. Because it was not. It was not against the laws of the Bible. Um, right here it says Deuteronomy 22 and 28. I just saw this. Hebrew law also stated that a man who raped an unbetrothed virgin was therefore thereby married to her and could never divorce her. And see, this is what caused women to be whores and mess up and go off when you got Jake's who lay down with these women, who was obligated to take care of these women. And the reason why Jake run off in this society, because it's such a big responsibility that he doesn't have that he can't provide. And she's still under the authority of, of her mother. He doesn't have a place to, Hey, I'm going to take her and bring her home and I'm going to take care of her. You know, everything is totally out of order. And this is, and it says here, um, Hebrew law also stated that a man who raped an unbetrothed virgin was there, thereby married to her and could never divorce her. Deuteronomy 22 and 28. We also see the reason uh, um, they married at 12 and 13. So you put this together. Deuteronomy 22 and 28 and 12, the age is 12 and 13. Their bodies, are, uh, you know, you've been in middle school. I know I have. And even high school, a 15-year-old young woman that looked like some of the teachers and developed early like some of the teachers. Why would the Most High have these young women develop? But yet their mind is not set up 
I'm talking about in a spiritual mindset in a righteous society to be able to do what's necessary for them to give birth. That This is beyond me why these men in this group as Israelites claiming to be in the heritage of our heritage or supposed to be following it. But when it comes to this, that's the offense. That's the stumbling block, you know. We're not, you know, at this point, you know, I didn't even want to go back and forth about it, but it was the title of the video that, you know, attracted my attention. Crazy black Hebrew Israelites. So now that vocab in them and everybody is calling us black Hebrew Israelites, so is this group. Anyway, what can you say? That's all I have on that. Shalom.